Alright, so this one's just going to be on a little utility I use called Uptime. And it's put out by Microsoft. And it, what it does is it queries your machine, or if you want a rem remote machine to look at, you want to see how long the machine's been up and running, basically since the last restart. Let's close this out. Um, what you want to do is, and I'll show you here in the little corner screen, is go to Microsoft. Here, we'll just start from the beginning. And you want to type in, once it loads up, type in uptime. And joining us on Skype is uh, a few of our members here. I don't want to mention all their names in case they don't want it mentioned, but uh, say hello if you like. They don't like. Hello. Oh, oh there's one. Hi. And two. You. And three. Okay, so basically what I did is I went to Microsoft.com, searched for Uptime, clicked on the first one, which was called Uptime.exe, scrolled down to the bottom of the page, and selected, I'm going to select Download Intel x86 version. Okay, yes, I want to save it. And I already saved one earlier, but I deleted it. So, And what you want to do is you want to get to your C drive. So let's start from the beginning. We go to my computer, C drive, Windows, System 32, and the reason I'm doing this, well, well, I'll show you. I'll tell you in a minute. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna just drag and drop this file from Google Chrome. Okay, I'm gonna drag it from Google Chrome into System 32 folder. And the reason I'm doing this is so that way um, it's in the path, the system path. So I can go to a command line, type in CMD, bring up a command line window here, and just type uptime, enter. Now it queried my machine saying hey this is my machine I'm working on has been up for zero days three hours 39 minutes 27 seconds but what if I want to see more details on that so you or actually let's just see if there's a help thing you can do for slash question mark and here's a help window you can you can uh, do some switches here the one I'm gonna do is let's see what was the one I used to do I think it was s uh, yeah let's try that so let's go up time switch s Oh, this shows you a detail, and then it shows you a detail of, I don't know, I got an error here, of when the machine's been shut down, restarted, and if there was uh, any details, I think, as far as, um, no, it doesn't show you that. So it just shows you the time and date that it was shut down and rebooted. Um, kind of cool. And you can do this on a remote machine, too. I have a domain controller in my basement called STDC-1, so I'm going to do uptime. Uh, backslash backslash stdc-1 and it queried the machine and it, that machine's been up for 15 days 21 hours 22 minutes 42 seconds pretty neat and you can also do that with a switch s on that machine and it just queried the machine saying okay it's been available 99 percent of the time total uptime is 42 days blah 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 blah, blah and all this other stuff so and then all the times it's been shut down if it's abnormal shutdown or, or one that I kicked off so little little utility uptime.exe by Microsoft